Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar, and this is another episode of the Bespoke Post series. I uh, got another package in, and uh, this is one that I've had. I actually have had this for a little while. So, But uh, anyhow, let's go ahead and see what's inside. All right, so here we go. Uh, obviously, a handful of different things here. Now, this is the Salude kit, and uh, if you've checked it out or if you see it on the, on the uh, website there, uh, this is, of course, a margarita kit. You can kind of tell by the components that are here, especially this one right here. Let's go ahead and start with the card like we generally do. Uh, as you can see, there are a couple of glasses there on the front. It does say Salud. And uh, in the front, uh, it says what's in the box. So we've got that on the back. We have three essential, and they say Marg recipes. There's pineapple turmeric the session marg and cucumber jalapeno so uh a few different ones those are a little different than what i'm used to hearing but uh trying to spice things up and make things a little different uh, than normal uh let's just randomly kind of grabbing stuff here we've got this right here and uh let's see ciel cieltio salsa cieltio uh, original. Uh, so this is, it looks like it is a chili seasoning, um, and it says with lime. And uh, if I'm going off of what the card looks like, it looks like this could be a rim topper. So uh, instead of using maybe salt, you use this. It gives it obviously a different taste and a different sensation as you're uh, trying out your margaritas. Uh, we then have this. Uh, the Verve is a uh, uh, this one, and it does say Mexico, so I'm wondering if it actually is made in Mexico. Uh, Verve Culture hand juicer, and uh, let's see, for, well, it says ideal for marinades, juices, cocktails, and more. And uh, there it is. It is hand, it says it's handmade in Mexico. Obviously, you'll take and put something like a lemon or more so probably a lime in the little, uh, section there take and squish her down and go ahead and get your juices out it does have a little uh ring here so you could take and maybe hang it uh if you want and i'm not sure that it has like a little indent right there maybe i'm not sure if that's for something specific uh, it doesn't really say anything here could be maybe something as simple as like a can or bottle opener like to pop the tabs or something like that but uh this is um well, I'm not sure. I have a feeling it seems to be made of uh, aluminum. Uh, it's very lightweight, and then it's polished. And then we have this little kind of towel-looking thing here, a servietta. Uh, and uh, so there we go. Uh, tape came off. But it says that you can use this as a tortilla warmer, a napkin, a placemat, a tea towel, or just for basic home decor. And as you can see, it seems to be uh, well, it's just obviously a simple towel. has uh, the, let's see, we've got green, blue, pink, white, uh, some red in there. Uh, so lots of different colors, kind of interesting looking. It is uh, very soft. It feels like it is uh, synthetic. I will say it's probably something like a, uh, like a polyester blend, I'm going to guess. And uh, let's see, does it say here? It is, oh, it's 100% acrylic. Uh, the overall size of this is 18 inches by 24 inches. And this is also made in Mexico. So uh, we're keeping with the Mexican theme, of course. Well, we are talking about margaritas. And, you know, that is a uh, pretty much a Mexican kind of concept there. Now we've got two more. We'll go ahead with this one here. Uh, Hella, which uh, that could be pronounced Ella. I suppose, uh, because, well, if it's pronounced in Spanish, H would be silent and the L's would sound like a Y. Uh, then this is the mixer. It is made with, it says, real lime juice. So, uh, you know, you get your, uh, your tequila or um, sometimes people make it with something else other than tequila, but obviously you can take this, mix it up. Uh, it does say that it is... Um, you should refrigerate it after you open it. You need to shake it up when you go to use it. Uh, it is gluten-free, it's kosher, and it's vegan. So basically across the board, if you're a uh, 
basically if you have a gluten allergy, you're maybe Jewish, and you're vegan, this is still usable for you. So, uh, and then it has some, uh, some basic information for how to do some mixing. But uh, that's pretty nice. And this is uh, 25.4 fluid ounces, which basically this is a fifth. Um, it is 750 milliliters. So uh, there we go. Basically the size of pretty much a standard bottle of alcohol at any, uh, at any uh, alcohol store, uh, grocery store, etc. Now, as you can see here, Mexican hand-blowed margarita glasses. So let's go ahead and pull one of those out. And uh, as you can see, uh, there are some uh, slight, maybe you can call them deformities or irregularities. This is actually really nice, nice and thick. That is at least an eighth of an inch thick or uh, maybe a little bit more even uh, in terms of that. It's uh, made in Mexico, as it says, it is hand blown. As you can see, this does have the little cut marks from uh, the hot liquid glass on the bottom there. So you definitely can tell that but it is a nice glass. Um, it's basically about a rocks glass. I think this is gonna be a little bigger. Uh, rocks glass, I think, being about four, four ounces. This looks like it's gonna be something closer to um, six to eight ounces, I think, with this. Uh, obviously, if you're gonna use the chili uh, or salt or anything else, you take and wet the rim, turn it on there, and then you can go ahead and with your mixer and your other stuff, make up your blend and pour it in there. So nice glasses to use in terms of, uh, you know, basically serving your margaritas. Now you can see right here, the side to side, this one is a bit taller. This one actually is kind of sloped a little bit. It's not completely even, but again, these are handmade. So they're not going to be perfect. They're not going to be shaped by a machine and be exact, but they are still gonna work for your margaritas. Uh, well, if you guys wanna check this out, it is a pretty nice little box. If you guys want to, uh, of course, spice up your serving uh, capabilities or whatnot, you can go down there. In the description below, there will be, of course, a link to this, to the Bespoke site, or actually there'll be a link to the Bespoke site. You can check out all their other boxes while you're down there. If you use that link, you're gonna get 20 bucks off your first order. Uh, so try to give that to, uh, you know, my viewers, at least give you a little, a little bit of a kick. And it also helps me out. It makes it so I can uh, purchase additional boxes uh, when I'm able to and whatnot. So uh, it helps everybody all the way around. Now, while you're down there, don't forget to check out the social media. Also, there's that thumbs up button down there, the subscribe button and ring that bell if you haven't done so already. That way, you know, when I've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. All right, everybody. Well, my name's Cougar. This is another episode from the Bespoke Post series. I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.